So we started writing the album about April. We spent most of the summer, well, all of summer writing it. And it's been a real collaborative effort uh, between all six of us. And uh, we had to get it done basically because um, we did a, like a full month's tour of Russia. And then I literally had a couple of days off and then I went out on tour with Devilment supporting Lacuna Coil and Motionless and White. And then basically, when, as soon as I came back from that, uh, Martin started his drums at Grindstone Studios, in, which is also in Suffolk, under the theory and ship of Scott Atkins, who did the Devilment album and, strangely enough, did the last Cradle album. We feel quite comfortable with him. He always gets the best out of everybody. When we were on tour, we presented our ideas to Dan and he just got so excited and then everybody got involved. And then, of course, the two new guitarists came in. And uh, it's been the strangest experience for me because we wrote everything over email, Dropbox, Skype. So, um, in, on occasion on tour, I went to visit Daniel for, in Scotland to write for a bit. So, uh, it, it just kind of, over the past year, has come together in, in the best way we can make it happen with us being from four different countries. It's, it's, it's been a really productive um, period for the band, actually. And the new album um, is, like, the musicianship is, is amazing. Um, I'm really excited about people hearing it. It's got really harks back to the glory days of Cradle of Filth. A lot of twin guitar parts and uh, uh, symphonic parts and blast beats galore. And it just has a, a, a very magical, well, dark magical vibe about it. And uh, I, I think people have been very impressed, especially people who berated like the last couple of records. Um, I think they'll, you know, they'll find solace in the fact that Cradle of kind of returned to former glories but not at the expense of um you know being fake about it we really sort of enjoyed it and um just sort of written from the heart I, I suppose and having uh six six musicians all working in tandem with each other really really helped easy like uh, a natural thing for, for us because uh, I would say we are um, a long-term fans of the, of the cradle so it makes things more easier yeah, to get along with the concepts and with the music. It's strange um, he kind of goes away into hiding when he writes his lyrics he just disappears and to the late night hours for a few weeks and he goes there and writes his lyrics he needs the music to be inspired by uh, the story that he's about to form. So what I do is I just, he told me, listen to movie soundtracks. He wants me to always listen to the Dracula soundtrack. I'm like, okay, fine. I think I know it back to front. And uh, it's beautiful, obviously. So I just started getting ideas of really dark, heavy things that I wouldn't necessarily put in Schoolcraft. Schoolcraft is more of a, um, like, I want to say pop, but it's not pop, just pop melody stuff, like even little kids could sing along to, whereas with Cradle, it gets a little more darker, progressive, more of what I learned in theory in university. Um, so I started writing stuff like that. Soundtrack, heavy, dark, it, it kind of opens up and gets light. And that's uh, that's kind of how I started writing my end of the music. I did most of my collaborations with um, Rich and Richard Shaw and Daniel Firth. And then me and Martin eventually collaborated on uh, the keyboards together, or he helped me. and. Um, Martin's very Martin Scorpio is very talented and it was really a pleasure to work with him. 